In Africa, the use of insulated containers throughout the supply chain is becoming increasingly common in artisanal fisheries. The freshness of the fish ensures its quality. Given its highly perishable nature, it requires special care to preserve its quality throughout this chain, thus justifying its high cost. In Madagascar, the transportation of seafood products, from the southern coast to the capital, takes an average of 36 hours, covering a distance of 1,000 kilometers. To maintain impeccable quality of these products, while adhering to the cold chain, it is essential to keep the fish chill throughout the process. The use of modern coolers, to transport fish from Toliara to Antananarivo, and especially the practice of returning them empty, in a taxi bruce, inevitably incurs additional costs for artisanal collectors, like Madame Jiven. Previously, she used this type of modern cooler, which she was unable to use to earn enough money to support her family. Now, they have found a simple and very economical solution, which improves the packaging technique for transporting frozen fish. They utilize readily available, environmentally friendly materials that are both inexpensive and easily accessible such as biodegradable cardboard, recycled plastic packaging that is affordable and can be reused multiple times, as well as wood shavings that can be found everywhere. Here are the step-by-step -step instructions for preparing packaging for frozen fish, using only recycled materials. To prepare packaging for approximately 100 kilograms of frozen fish, obtain a cardboard box, measuring 1 meter in length and 70 centimeters on each side, depending on the size of the products you will be inserting. I'm going to set up the cardboard box and the two bags. This cardboard is covered by two plastic bags, so I'll detach them and use the first one inside. This recycled cardboard serves as the basic structure to construct the packaging. If the cardboard is slightly damaged or torn at the edges, it is crucial to securely sew it back together, using a bag needle and a salvaged thread from a strap, to reinforce and stiffen it. Next, you will need wood shavings, which serve as the insulating and shock-absorbing elements of your packaging. You can find them at any neighborhood carpentry shop. This technique of making packaging for frozen fish is simple, fast, and cost-effective. Start by spreading a layer of wood shavings, approximately 10 centimeters deep, at the bottom of the reinforced cardboard. How many centimeters of wood shavings do you use? About 10 centimeters, like this. On top of the layer of shavings, place a thick plastic recovery bag, such as a rice bag, inside the cardboard. We'll use this bag to protect the fish, and prevent the wood shavings from touching the fish. Voila. Above this thick plastic bag, and to avoid any contamination, place two thinner plastic bags inside the bag. There are people at the market who collect all of these, the bags and the sachets. We buy them from them. Originally, there was sugar inside this bag. This double packaging prevents any contact between the frozen fish and the wood shavings. Take the fish out of the freezer and weigh them, to have a total of 100 kilograms of different species. Those are only big fish. Over the past few years, Madame Jiven has noticed a gradual decrease in the size of fish that her fishmongers bring. Yes, I have noticed that, because there used to be a lot of fish. We could have 300 to 400 kilograms of big fish per day. But now, it has significantly decreased to 100 to 50 kilograms per day, due to climate change. Climatic. 
Next, arrange the fish diagonally on the thin plastic bags. The clients are arriving in Tana. The customers, in Antananarivo, will put it back in the freezer. We are not allowed to refreeze thawed products. That's why we pay attention to our packaging, to ensure that the products always arrive frozen at their destination. Pour que notre emballage puisse garder le froid jusqu'à l'arrivée au client. Carefully cover the top of the frozen fish with the two layers of thin plastic, then cover it all with the thick plastic. So the thick plastic to make it airtight against the wood shavings. Madame Jiven uses recycled wire. I'll also take this string to sew. It's not easy for us to have sophisticated equipment. It's too expensive for us, so we have to find other alternatives. No, this is not new. These are bags used to pack cartons on bicycles. We collect them from stores that sell household items. Fill the cardboard box to the brim with wood shavings and distribute them evenly on each of the four sides of the box. Add a final layer of wood shavings on top and close the edges of the box. Using a long, thick, and strong sisal rope, produced locally, securely tie the box using techniques from maritime knots. Scotch tape is expensive compared to locally produced sisal rope. Ensure that the package is compact, rigid, and airtight to withstand the journey and weather conditions. En plus, c'est naturel. What's more, it's made of natural fibers, not plastic. We support the local economy. The next step is to take the box to the Taxi Bruce parking lot for transport to Antananarivo. So, it's Sunday morning now, and it will arrive in Tana on Monday between 10 a.m. and 12 p.m. The product needs to arrive in Tana 72 hours after being sent, and the products must be well frozen because our customer will refreeze them. This fish comes from Toliara, but it's still frozen, and the cold chain is perfectly maintained. Now that you know how to make packaging for frozen fish using recycled materials, let's review one last time what we have learned. Retrieve a cardboard box, reinforce it. Add a first layer of wood shavings. Place a thick plastic bag at the bottom, followed by two layers of thinner plastic. Arrange the frozen fish diagonally. Close everything and sew the thick plastic bag. Fill all sides of the box with wood shavings, ensuring they are evenly distributed on the sides. Add more on top, then close and securely tie the cardboard packaging using locally produced ropes. Lastly, Ensure your fish travels for no longer than 72 hours. To reduce post-catch losses, it is crucial to always keep the fish frozen throughout the transportation process. <laughs>